Did you know influencers have so much power? They can influence what you wear, what you buy, and how you live. From celebrity influencers to micro-influencers, they are quickly creeping into our social feeds and our minds, and companies and brands around the world are utilizing influencer marketing to the point it is on track to becoming a $15 billion industry by 2022. And I am so here for it because I love influencers. <laughs> From the many, 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 um, did I say many hours that I have spent on YouTube trying to perfect my smoky eye and looking more like a wet raccoon on a bad day? Yeah. <laughs> to the thousands of dollars of hair products that are under my sink. And yeah, don't tell my husband about that. Because I follow people who look like me with the same hair pattern as me. And I'm always one product short of having that perfect hairdo. It, this experience made me step back and look at my home, my life, my friends, and even some of the things that I did and said, and I realized that influencers have power over me. Now, to understand exactly what or whom an influencer is, you have to ask yourself this question. Has a celebrity or someone with, influ uh, with fame ever convinced you to buy something? If the answer is yes, then you have had an intimate relationship with an influencer. <laughs> an influencer is a person who has the power to affect decisions of others because of their authority, their knowledge, their position, and the relationship that they have with their audience. Influencers range from the micro-influencers with the thousands to hundreds of thousands of social media followers, like your favorite travel blogger or your go-to beauty video creator or the health and wellness blog that you follow on a regular basis, to the heavy hitters. And those are the celebrity influencers with the millions upon millions of followers. And if you need an example, look no further than the queens themselves, the Kardashians. <laughs> and if you don't think a Kardashian has affected your life, the next time you pull out your cell phone getting ready to take your selfie and you find yourself running around looking for better lighting and you're contorting your body so that tummy will go away and you're moving your neck up so you don't have that extra chin, just so you can get a perfect shot, remember where that came from? and who influenced you. <laughs> now, I know some of you probably have a groan bubbling up in your chest right now, and you're like, seriously, Felicia, influencers? But yes, they have no jobs, they have no skills, they make millions of dollars providing nothing to society. And I get how you may feel that way, but if we take a step back and really look, influencers actually do their jobs very well. And their job is to influence you to act a certain way or to do a certain thing, and it absolutely works. And this led me to one of the many crazy ideas that I have when I'm sitting on the sofa on Sundays doing nothing. Technology needs a Kardashian, and technology needs a Kardashian to attract more women. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Yeah, I, I can all, already feel your eyeballs rolling into the back of your, your heads, but stay with me on this and trust me, this will get better, I promise. Because I'm a STEM geek, and STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math, and on my good days, I secretly dream of being a travel and beauty influencer, but in the real world, I have seen the power, the positive power of women in tech and I have seen the benefits of pursuing a career in STEM and how it can literally change and save lives. And I fear that more women will not be a part of this. Because as it stands, women only hold 20% of all tech jobs. Fewer are entering while more are leaving each year and they are leaving at double the rate of their male counterparts. And when we look at young women that are pursuing these degrees in higher education, the numbers aren't much better. And research has shown us that girls lose interest in math at the exact age of 15 years old. And math is the gateway to any STEM and tech influenced career. And we should be worried about this. Because tech, health, finance, these are math influenced and STEM influenced careers. They are dictating and de designing our lives as we speak right now. And with women being represented in dismal numbers, we are slowly on a path where women will not be a part of the innovation of our future. Our voices won't be heard, 
Our voices won't be at the decision maker tables and our voices probably won't matter. And we have to ask ourselves, do we care? So I go back, thank you. <laughs> so I go back to my crazy idea. What would happen if a Kardashian or, a or an influencer from health, beauty and travel were to jump over into the world of technology? And I mentioned health, beauty, and travel because these are the three largest industries that use influencer marketing. And these are the three largest industries that have the pr most profound and significant effect on the minds and bodies of girls and women. From how we see ourselves, how we view our bodies, who we date, who we don't date, what we eat, what we don't eat. Basically our overall self-esteem. The influence from these industries have lasting impressions and I think it's time for us to merge these two worlds for the greater good of us all. Because if a handful of health influencers can post on Instagram to make us fall in love with avocado toast, like seriously, that's a thing? <laughs> <laughs> and we love avocado toast so much that we have caused shortages and we've left millions and millions of millennials without in a crisis because they don't know what to order when they go out for breakfast with their friends. <laughs> Or look at the impact of travel influencers posting beautiful photos and articles about the Troll Tongue viewpoint, which is a 10 hour hike in Norway that was only averaging 800 visitors a year. And within three short years, they're averaging 80,000 visitors and it is causing over tourism. We have to realize that influencers have power and their power works. And if we were to transfer that power for the encouragement, the confidence, the buildup and engagement of more women and girls to participate in STEM and tech, just imagine what could happen. Now, I honestly think this power is kept secret because somebody out there knows that um, women could possibly <laughs> run the world. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. But right now, our US education department has invested over $300 billion into STEM related studies and the numbers have not yet changed. We have coding camps, programs, after school programs dedicated to getting young girls excited about tech and they have been very successful, but somehow the numbers have still not changed. Large corporations have donated millions of dollars to support women in STEM, but yet the numbers have still not changed. So my challenge goes out to the large, medium and small tech companies that are designing our lives. What more are you willing to do? Are you willing to put your profits on the line to get more women into your field? Are you willing to take cues from health, beauty, and travel and start involving influencers to experiment with changing these numbers for women? Or should I step back and ask you tech, do you even care? Because I'm afraid to wake up one morning, roll out of my bed, walk into the bathroom and look into the mirror and ask the question that I have feared saying out loud the most over the last few years of my life. And that is, do women even matter? when it comes to tech.